It's been about three weeks since the release of Google Gemini Deep Research, and I've been getting so much value out of this tool for data analysis. So I want to show you some use cases today. So you just go to the Gemini app and Deep Research is there as a model to be selected. So 1.5 Pro with Deep Research. I'm going to show you a couple of data analysis use cases today. The first is finding data sets and ideas for dashboards. So I'm saying I'm creating a data analytics portfolio for prospective employers, finding it hard to come up with data sets. Can you suggest five products to build with three suitable pull data sets for each for the financial services sector. So this has come up with a plan for me. And the plan after my prompt is we want to find five data analytics projects relevant to the sector for each project, three suitable data sets, find the top 10 places to search for sample data for projects, explain why each of the top 10 is a good source, briefly provide an overview of the five projects, link to the data sets and provide top 10 places to search for sample data. So a lot in there and a lot of value going to be generated from this very simple prompt. So you can see it's starting to pull some web searches, right? So this search is on the web for things that might be useful and there's a lot of different sources that have been pulled in here so we're getting top 10 websites for data sets we're getting specific machine learning and data analysis projects for the financial services sector along with a lot of data from Kaggle from different places where data will be so it's actually gone in and researched 109 websites and then it creates this doc so we open this in Google Docs you can review it within Gemini Advanced, but it's probably better just to open this in Docs and get a doc uh, created. So it talks about the research methodology. It's given me the five projects. So customer churn prediction, give me three data sets for each of those. And that's really what I'm looking for. And because this is a live web search, the data sets are normally intact. This is something that I used to really hate before with the LLM is that it would give you the wrong URL or give you a URL that used to exist, but doesn't exist. But this is up to date. And these data sets are actually pretty good. And then there's a credit card fraud use case and there's a credit card fraud data set in there. And that's a pretty good data set for that. Stock market analysis is another uh, branch of projects. I can see there's data sets in there. Credit risk assessments. So it's given me three data sets from that from Kaggle. And normally these kind of machine learning project data sets would only exist on Kaggle. And then that's a really, really useful data set there. Where to find data sets. This is pretty good. I have found a couple of things in here that I wouldn't have known before like this, this open data from AWS. And these are all databases of data sets where I could go and find data for the financial services sector. It gives me a conclusion and then it gives me the articles where it's got this information from. Next use case is for a data analytics or data science methodology. So what I'm asking for here is I want to learn about the profit forecasting algorithm and I want this to be pitched at somebody who knows a tiny bit of Python, but not much. So it's given me a plan here where it wants to explain the forecasting in simple terms, find me basic data sets and find uh, some tutorials that will walk through profit algorithm. So I'm going to start the research here by just pressing start research. And what this does, is it'll take articles that are very specific to the profit algorithm. Profit algorithm was developed by Meta. So you see a lot of Meta uh, symbols there and other analytics websites. It's going to open this as well up in documents and see what's in here. So it's telling me about profit. It's telling me about how profit works. And this is really pitched at a someone that doesn't really know a lot about either the profit algorithm or time series analysis forecasting. So very kind of basic language here. It's given me some code examples and the code examples are better to be copied and pasted out of the actual deep research tool itself. But it's given me just how to really basically fit this uh, just to just to get started. And what I would do is I would I'd fit this to a small data set like the ones talked about here and then ask Gemini Deep Research again to go a bit more in depth. In this case, it's giving me more so the references to the data set. So it's saying it's number six in my uh, references and you can see the car sales data set there. Then finally, what this does, it runs through basic concept of time series forecasting and then some advanced techniques. And we could dig deeper into those by running another deep research. So the last use case I have here is design advice. So I'm looking for design tips for an e-commerce dashboard and how to use color effectively in my dashboard. And what I can do this is I can edit the plan. I'm not happy with it. So I want links to all those dashboards. So I've asked it to create links to the dashboard samples and can you put 
pull up a revised plan and this is the revised plan and you'll see it in two it's going to provide links to the dashboard when available it's going to start the research here and this is pulling up all different types of design websites and really specific stuff on what are the 10 best e-commerce design dashboards and templates very detailed stuff on color in here got to open this up in docs again and look what this has come out with this time and we have best practice for e-commerce dashboards so this has gone through a number of different websites and kind of amalgamated those together and it's given me some examples here so again this has given me the reference number rather than an, a link within the text itself and it's also gone through the effective use of color and give me a reference in them as well what this does really well is it gives me key kpis for an e-commerce dashboard so that's really another use case is what are the key kpis i'd be looking for in this type of dashboard and the kpis here are actually really really nice so it's obviously gone through a number of different websites looked at what kpis are, were in those dashboards and it has come up with those here so these are just kind of tools and technologies as well about the dashboards but just going into some of the links that it's referenced here the top 10 e-commerce dashboards this is a lot of design stuff in here that i can use when i'm kind of coming up with what i want my dashboard to look like this uh gecko board uh this dashboard is pointed to it specifically is nice i can use this for my e-commerce dashboard as well what i really like is this effective use of color examples here is really good stuff and some of the sites that it's referencing are exactly what i'm looking for in terms of how to use color on my dashboard so three really strong use cases there as i said i love this tool and i hope you found this video useful follow for more gemini tips